Anyways, so comment on my new video um, from Cycross D4, which I thought deserved a video uh, response. Uh, I'd posted a comment saying, uh, "Religion only serves to damage society. Any good done from it uh, can also be done in the name of humanity." Uh, therefore also making it more meaningful because rather than I did it because I thought a oh, man in the sky was watching me or because I read it in a book I did it because I gave a damn so Cycross had replied to this saying I'd really like to know what major problems in society would be fixed if we got rid of what you call religion uh, let's stop there um, did I say that anything would be fixed? no suggested? no uh, is it true though? Would it at least help in any way? Not fix it, but help. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure for for most of the things you want to say anyway. Uh, you have a big list here. We'll tackle one or two of them. Uh, crime. Now, I'm pretty sure there used to be two quite tall buildings in the centre of New York, and. Uh, both of them and their 3,000 occupants are no longer there due to a religiously motivated criminal act. Uh, there are a million Iraqis and Afghanis plus a good three to 400 British soldiers and I think over a thousand, maybe a thousand and a half American soldiers who no longer exist because of your last president hearing voices in his head telling him it's okay go to war let's go for something more definitely religious based um, we'll try and keep it current so I'm not going to touch on I don't know inquisitions, crusades, witch trials, burning of witches uh, no no let's go for catholic church in Africa, where not only as in the rest of the world do they say condoms are bad, don't use condoms, evil, sinful, blah. You know, now they've got on to saying condoms will give you AIDS, and the only way to get rid of AIDS is to have sex with a virgin. The younger, the better, really. Um, so let, let's see what that covers in your list right here. Crime, yeah. Rape, yeah. Drug abuse, no, although I'm pretty sure the Catholic Church, by the way, is doing that. Teenage pregnancy, you betcha. Domestic abuse, child abuse, yep, it's both. Um, it also slightly cut, touches on homelessness because uh, in many parts of Africa, if you've been raped um, or you lose your virginity before you're married, you don't live with your family anymore. You get chucked out. Uh, so yeah, that that pretty much covers that one. If your god does exist, bad economies and tsunamis, well, he picks the leaders and he controls the weather. Famine, um, again, controlling weather. Uh, to touch slightly on the Catholic Church, they own a fucking country. They have a gigantic palace thing. They got lots of money. Sharing the wealth, meb no, no, okay, awesome. Um, yeah. So uh, enough of that one. Is this all religion's fault? Again, no, it's not. Would it all be fixed? No, it would not. Um, would it help if religion just disappeared? Yeah, it would. What about your religion of atheism? Uh, what? Okay, let's try and tackle some sort of definitions here. Okay, we've got religion, which controls your life, or at least attempts to. Uh, it tells you how to live, what to do, when to do it, who to do it to. Uh, it tells you that, I don't know, the... Uh, the appropriate response to kids calling a bald man bald is to release two she bears on them so they can be mauled to death. Um, if you have disobedient children, if you uh, know a homosexual, if uh, you know someone who's had sex with a woman during her period, um, all of these people are to be stoned to death. 
uh, yeah, if um, a man and his wife come to you, who you've never met before, and then a crowd of men come asking uh, to see this man, the appropriate response is to give him his wife so that she can be raped to death, cut into several pieces, and then spread across the land. Wow. Yeah. Um, you're not doing so well here. Now, that's what religion is. It controls your life. It says everything that you're meant to do. What's atheism? Well, atheism is a statement of non-belief in a god. That's it. That's where it ends. You want to tell me how those two are exactly the same thing? Because I'm not saying it. Now, just at the end here, you've thrown in, I love it. Uh, amorality is an uh, almost guaranteed byproduct of atheism. You're covering yourself there with the almost. So, um, in the case of, say, Norway, which has one of the highest atheist populations, but also has one of the lowest crime rates, that's one of those exceptions on our, like, a national scale. Um, Whereas America has an 85% religious population and a 75% Christian population and has a crazily high crime rate as well as, I'm not actually sure how many wars, but it's into the tens. Um, yeah, you're not doing so well here. Let's go for a personal level. Let's go for me. Um, let's go through your list. Have I ever committed a crime? Yes. Have I ever been brought up in criminal charges? No. Um, raped anyone? No. Drug abuse? No. Teen pregnancy? Neither cause nor have been. Domestic violence? No. Child abuse? No. The rest of them really don't apply. Um, yeah, I, I'm not seeing it here really. Um, to say that my belief on whether a god exists or not uh, forms the basis of my morality is idiotic. And to say that your belief in a god defines your morality, again, is just stupid. When was the last time you went out and fulfilled what is meant to be biblical morality and stoned a homosexual? And before you jump to Oh, but it's Old Testament. That doesn't, that doesn't apply to us. Jesus came, you know, he, he took away uh, all of those laws. Try reading Matthew chapter 5, verse 18, where it says that every jot and tittle of the law must be upheld until both the end of the earth and heaven. Now, last time I checked, the earth hasn't ended. And heaven is never meant to end. So the law every letter of the law is meant to be upheld um, so really the next time your child disobeys you stone him the next time you see someone doing any amount of work whether it be picking up a baby or sticks on the sabbath stone them to death uh, yeah the next time you hear voices in your head saying you know it would be a great idea uh, taking your son to the top of a mountain and stabbing him to death or slitting his throat I can't remember which one it was meant to be yeah you go, you go ahead and do that don't let you know human morality stand in the way God knows best anyway if you'd like to make a response to this please do because I'd love to see you defend all this crap that you've said and uh, yeah to anyone else feel free as well Okay, bye guys.